I'm Lloyd Lewis and I'm an artist that's exhibited throughout the whole of the UK. Primarily I'm a portrait artist, so today I'm going to show you how to create realistic flesh tones. I'm going to discuss the colours that I use, how we mix them, how we apply them, looking at the different kind of tonal range, hot and cold colours, and so yeah, it's going to be an interesting video. If you like this video, click subscribe and um, also hit the bell and you'll be notified when I go live with another video. Okay, so this is how I like to make, uh, create um, flesh tones. So I've got here some cadmium, uh, sorry, titanium white. It's a wee bit messy that I've been uh, painting. Um, and I love to add this one here, which is yellow ochre. So I'm there making, mixing that up nice. Lovely down there. And then, now, Dependent on the, the, the thing that I'm painting on the face, so it's a shadow, it's a light tone, it's a um, warm tone, it, it depends on what I choose here. So I've got this one here, which is Venetian Red, and I absolutely love Venetian Red. It's one of my favourites to paint. I think, personally, that it gives a really realistic um, flesh tone. I've got Cadmium Red here, and I've got Deep Cadmium Red here. So I'm going to use... I'm going to add a little bit of this. Okay, I don't want to add a lot because red can kind of tend to dominate. So I have added a lot of yellow ochre, so I'm going to add a little bit more so you can see. So there we go. Now, sometimes it's really important to kind of cool the colour down. Um, you, want the, you want the particular tone, but you want it a little cooler. So I always like to add a little bit cobalt teal just a little bit dab that there just again so you can see that there so I've added the cobalt teal I dabbed a little bit on the on the thing there because I didn't want it to be too warm too much I mean sorry too much cobalt teal so there now I'm gonna just see what happens when we add a little bit more the real I think the really important thing with flesh tones is to first of all understand and look look really really closely at what you are painting and you know really examine um, a lot of my painting is some of it I'm going to be honest is trial and error you know it's not it's not a whole I haven't got a whole kind of it's, it's not exact it's not a science it's art it's, it's subjective um, acrylic tends to dry a little bit darker as well so you know once when you're working on a painting you're kind of the next when you see it again after it's dried and you, the next time you you work in you are um you know you, you look you examine okay that needs to be a little lighter so i can add a bit more white so yeah um that's 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 some of a little insight into what i how i um paint um with flesh tones i'm just gonna mix the one with cadmium so i just got my little we got my little rag here that's what i use to clean my brushes and in my sink da -da 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 -da. Get a nice brush, nice clean brush. I usually start with a nice clean brush when it's um, when I'm mixing new colours. So I've got my titanium white. No, best to put it under there. I wasn't looking what I was doing. So I've got my titanium white again. Yellow ochre. Now I've got um, transparent yellow oxide here, and I've got um, raw sienna. All right. Again, depending on who I'm painting, what I'm painting. Is, is dependent on what I will choose there as well because they both they all all of these give different kind of um, combination different colors when you when you mix them with your titanium white so there we are. I'm going to go again with my yellow ochre and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit because this gets a little bit dominant all right before really over it the put in there so that's an embarrassed colour. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed for doing that now. So anyway, add a little bit more yellow ochre. And then I'm gonna clean my brush off best I can with one hand. I'm gonna put on a nice big bit of titanium white. There we go, you can see. Mixing that up nice, that gives you a really nice flesh tone. 
I love I love um, this particular combination as well. It's really really lovely to paint with. Okay, so this is the um, finished piece that I've been working on recently, and this is what I've been uh, using my flesh tones for. So I'm going to show it to you like this. This is uh, my painting of Michael Wilson, also known as Tug. So you can see, I'll put it closer to the camera for you. You can see lots and lots of different layers there, building up the different flesh tones. You can see, a lot, you know, the warm tones, the cooler tones, and the shadows and things. So yeah, this I've been really, really happy with this. I'm, um, I'm pleased how it's turned out. Uh, I think it represents another step forward in my art um, practice. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, as you saw, that's how I make my flesh tones. It's all, I'm not saying, can I just say, number one, um, I'm not saying how I do it is right. My way is just trial and error is what I've done um, and, and um, explored and also did some reading and things like that. Um, I'm sure there are other ways, more correct ways of doing it, you know, more correct ways. But um, I think it's about art is subjective and it's about finding your own kind of thing as well. So, yeah, that's how I make my flesh tones. Primarily titanium white. I always use titanium white. I, I love the Winsor Newton professional um, paint range and the, the titanium white for that. I highly recommend. It's beautiful. Um, yellow ochre. And then I use a choice of three um, reds. I, I primarily, I love the Venetian red. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And for me, it really gives a nice kind of um, flesh tone. It's almost it's very realistic, I think. Um, I also use cadmium red and deep cadmium red as well. I do play around with some of my um, the, the yellows. The, you know, I sometimes will change it to um, raw sienna or uh, transparent yellow ochre, as, uh, yellow oxide, sorry, as well. So yeah, that's um, that's how I make my flesh tones. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've enjoyed it, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, while you're here, just hit subscribe, which should be up on that corner there, and there'll be another video playing just here. <laughs> In a moment, um, well, you can click on that and uh, see if you enjoy that one as well. All right, thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.